but the breadth bandwidth requirements continue to go up. And as we move forward into having a lot more uh, bandwidth usage, they're going to really start to skyrocket because of what we saw, right? You need to deliver the videos, you need to deliver high def, 3D, all of this sort of stuff. And that's going to drive up the costs. So if, if the operators continue on their present curve, right, their, their average revenues are stabilizing, their costs continue to go up, you know, they're, they're going to have a profit problem. And so Huawei is focused around how can we affect the shape of those curves. Today, most of the, uh, of the vendors have had really silos of information. So if I 2G mobile, 3G mobile, um, public uh, switch telephone network, the normal, you know, plain brown phone stuff, they've, they've had different products for all of this. At Huawei, what we've done is we've uh, taken a philosophy that we are, are calling single, which is for each of these areas, whether it's access, the, the, the backhaul, metro areas, service access, the backbone, service control, we've got um, a single set of platforms. So you saw the single RAN, we've got single, we've got all sorts of names for, you know, single fan, single backhaul. So lots and lots of uh, singles. Um, and, but, but the focus is having horizontal solutions. So we have, you know, it doesn't matter whether an operator has 2G, 3G, as they move to LTE, that we have a single answer for them, a single platform that can evolve with them. So they don't have to be constantly throwing out their, their investments and starting over again. And so this is how we think that we can affect their curves. So from the, the revenue side, we have service markets, we're doing Android devices um, at lower price points. Um, we have smart mobile broadband, our, our IPTV types of things. So we think there are a lot of things that we're doing that can help the operators increase their revenue. At the same time, because we have all of this technology and bandwidth, we can help them to flatten out their cost curve because they only have to buy stuff once, right? So our single RAN, it doesn't matter, you know, your, your 2G today, 3G, 4G tomorrow, it's just new software, right? You don't have to buy a whole new platform. In the core network where I spend most of my time, it's the same thing. The same core network can be used for the 2G, 3G, 4G, and also for fixed line. So, you know, when, when you know, we talk to mobile operators that are getting into fixed line, like Vodafone, where they're, they're offering fixed line services as well as mobile, um, then they only need one core network. They don't need multiple core networks. So it really makes it much more cost effective. And so that really is our focus, is to be able to help the operators by changing the shape of these curves. Getting more revenue, controlling their costs, and that's both capital expenditures as well as operating expenses. We're, one of the things that Huawei is very focused on is to make it easier to manage the network. Because networks are getting very, very complicated. And the old way of manage, managing analog kinds of networks what, don't work as you're going into IP. And so the management systems have to become much more intelligent and we have to focus around the user's experience. So we have a number of new management systems that are based around doing fault locating that are based around measuring user experience um, and these are, are really um, helping the operators.